Today I want to share one of my dream painters with you. Her name is Susan Lichtman, and let's get started. All right, the dream painter that I'm thinking about today is Susan Lichtman. Now, this is not a friend of mine, and one of the things that we kind of have to, or we all kind of have to accept about ourselves is this is a museum quality painter. This is someone who's been painting their whole life and is at the top of their game and has been at the top of their game for a really long time. So a dream painter for me is someone who I'm influenced by and clearly recognize that I'll never be able to be in their league in any way. And that's not really the point. The point is, can I, what are some of the influences that come from her work for me? And one of the things you can probably guess is design. There are some really unusual compositions happening here. It's almost as if she breaks the rules. I mean, look at the, the uh, glass right in front and the bottle right in front. You know, if this was entered into a competition at my level, I, it wouldn't be painted at the same, to the degree that she paints well, but I'm sure it would be disqualified just based on breaking the rules there. That that's, would have been viewed as an amateur move and unacceptable. So I kind of look at her as being extremely brave and willing to not follow formula. She tends to paint interiors for the most part, and that's something I'm very interested in because I live in an interior, and I'm sure you do too. And one of the things about living in an interior is you, can, you kind of have to explore deeper. It's not about going and seeing the Grand Canyon or creating a beautiful scene from an iconic thing but instead just looking at what's around you and how is how does light affect that? You know, how can you make a design out of something? And I tend to be home a lot. Some of that is by choice, some of it is very much not. And so I'm trying to see if I can create endless compositions from my home. And there are a lot of nice angles in my home. Look at the angles in this. Look at those opposing arrows. Wowie zowie. This one really knocks me out. I mean, can you imagine a judge at my level, you know, looking at this, oh my gosh, the watercolor society would say, no, don't you know you don't put something right in the foreground? <laughs> it cuts the canvas. <laughs> but, oh my God, I think that's kind of why I, I, I think I could sit down with her and have a really good time. Everything about which, oh, I should also say, this is not watercolor, but that doesn't mean that you can't be influenced by your dream painters and, and think about what you want to do and how you want to push yourself. So this is the direction that I, I want to push myself. So I want to do interiors, look at interesting angles, look at value shapes, and I want to include dogs. I wanted to also pull back and show you how large these pictures are. There's something about scale that really can make a difference in how seriously someone takes your art or how the world takes your art. These are big things. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color, and share your dream artist with me. See you next time. Bye-bye.